let's talk about the Dolly Parton challenge that's been going around. It became a trend really quick this week in about two or three days. And it's very peculiar to me because it started to look kind of familiar to something that I've seen online that helps you with your profile pictures all around. Now, with what I do with body language, uh, studying first impressions, everyone gets a read off of you off of your profile picture. So it's really interesting to see everyone's, I, I'm guessing you guys are pick, picking these pictures, um, perception of themselves of what should be going on a LinkedIn, which is professional, what should be going on a Facebook, which is more family, more laid back oriented, what should be going on Instagram, which everyone, it's everyone's best take. And then people are doing Tinder for their fourth one. So that's, you know, you're outgoing. I don't know what, what you what you want to represent yourself for a dating site, but other people too are doing Twitter, which as well is just very open and laid back. So it's very interesting to have been check, uh, checking out and seeing all these little four posts that you've been seeing. I'll post some examples so you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't heard of what they call the Dolly Parton challenge, uh, Dolly Parton, I think, put it on their Instagram too. So it was very entertaining to see that. But this website, this this software that I saw that it reminded me of is called Photo Feeler. It's the website is photofeeler.com. I'll put I'll make sure to put it on here in the description below as well, so you could go check it out. But what it is is it's off based off of three categories of of I guess social media or profile picture. It's business, social, and dating. So again, it's kind of like the Dolly Parton challenge where you're picking your own pictures because you think it's ideal or what it would go, what representative for that platform or for whatever subject that area is. So photofeeler.com, yeah, could actually upload your own picture. Now you can either, I believe they, they charge you what they call credits and then you can put and you can get more votes. So the more votes, obviously the bigger your test group would be. So more people will be voting on your picture. And that's the thing. People vote on your picture and tell you each area of business dating and, um, social have little subcategories, traits that people grade you on or will judge you on. And they tell you how charismatic, how likable, how competent, how attractive, how all these other, it's each has three, so nine total char uh, characteristics to be judged on, or um, in this case, it's a fun experiment. So it's just, it, you put yourself out and these characteristics will kind of cue you into what personality your personality is from other people. So not your perception, it's other people's perception. So it's very interesting. Again, the way you could do it is go to feeler to follow photo feeler .com, upload your picture, uh, choose a category, then you could actually put a couple extra text or you could add some other stuff on it. But then once in a while, you could also to do it for free. So here's the thing to do it for free, you could actually start voting on other people's pictures. And it'll give you what they call, I think they change it from credits to karma. So there's credits that you could buy and pay for. And the more you buy, obviously, the more votes you can get. So instead of getting only 10 people to vote on your picture, you can get up to maybe 40 or 50 uh, people to vote on your picture. And for that, just in the experiment and research, the more, of course, votes you get, the more, the bigger the, the test group is, the so more people are judging you. So you could maybe get a more concise feel for how many 50 pe how much 50 people are judging you or maybe 100 people depending on if you want to pay but the free part is if you start uh, voting on other people's thing um, pictures you start getting karma which then goes towards how many votes you can get so again it's very interesting I'm gonna put some of my information up here at the end or maybe I'll, I'll pop them up somewhere in the video but I'm gonna put some pictures that I did this was two, three years ago already. It's old. I'm going to update some pictures and put a business, a dating, and a social picture up there, some new ones, uh, and get some more votes. And I'm interested to see if it changes from when I did it a couple years ago to it is now. So I encourage you. That's another challenge, the real photo feeler, Dolly Parton challenge, to go to photofeeler.com, put up some of these pictures if you already did it. Maybe pick the same picture you have, put them on there, and see what other people are going to be saying if if they actually fit that description if they should be on LinkedIn. And with this topic, again, that's very important. Your social media presence or your online presence affects, it is the storefront, it is the window, the window shopping experience for people to you. So the way you put pictures, I think the biggest uh, topic of this is some people put pictures on LinkedIn that maybe shouldn't go on LinkedIn. And, you know, you end up having to ask your friends, hey, do you think this is appropriate or not? Or is it... Um, is it showing my best side for business? So Dolly Parton Challenge, make sure to check out photofiller.com. I'll put it up again and let me know. Either tag me or put it up or send it to me. 
uh, just reach out to my social media. It's everywhere. It's linked in the description as well. And I'm interested to see how the Dolly Parton, the photo fuel challenge turned out for you. If you enjoyed this video and you think you had some fun with the photo filler, please let me know. Again, you could just reach out to me on social media and consider subscribing to this channel. Again, I want to be talking about topics like this. Uh, this is correlated to body language, first impressions, how people read you and perceive you. So I have many other topics that I want to talk about the, um, about in that regards. So again, we cover body language, uh, media and tech, and uh, gear. If you're interested in any of those topics, please consider subscribing. Thanks.